Garland police and the FBI are just beginning their investigation into the shootings. Fox 4's Richard Ray is at the Curtis Colwell Center now with the latest. Rich. Good evening, Heather. In fact, Garland police are telling us this will be a very long investigation. Just in the last couple of hours, they've begun to remove some key evidence. Just over 24 hours later, what's left of the suspect's car towed away from the crime scene. A mangled mess on the back of a flatbed tow truck. Its trunk blown up. After Sunday shootout and through the night, bomb squad robots had meticulously probed it, while the bodies of two gunmen remained where they fell. What we know and what we've trained on, it's very likely that these people that do this may well rig themselves or their vehicles with bombs. There were a series of explosions that could be clearly heard and felt by journalists staged a mile away. One of the first detonations you heard was to open the trunk. Garland police say a number of suspicious items were found, luggage and ammunition, but no bomb. Only then were forensics teams from Garland and the FBI brought in and the bodies of the two shooters taken out. Garland police are crediting a quick thinking traffic officer with a handgun for taking down the two would be attackers wearing body armor who opened fire shortly before seven Sunday night, wounding a security guard. Both of them had assault rifles, came around the back of the car and started shooting at the police car. The police officer in that car began returning fire and struck both men, taking them down. The two attackers have since been identified as Elton Simpson and Nathir Sufi. Sufi has ties to Texas. The apartment the men shared in Phoenix was searched by the FBI. They seem like nice guys. One neighbor said they appeared to be bent on converting him to Islam. They seemed like real nice, but they were really into that Muslim thing. Police say Simpson and Sufi drove to Texas, but are not sure how long they'd been here. The idea that there's a violent war, there is a violent assault on freedom of speech, uh, clearly was brought home last night. Sunday's event was hosted by Pamela Geller and her organization, the American Freedom Defense Initiative. A pro-Muslim event in January at the Culwell Center in Garland included a speech by a controversial imam. That January event called Stand with the Prophet sparked anti-Muslim protest and clearly spawned Geller's event called Muhammad Art Exhibit and Contest featuring cartoons and caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. So yes, we had a freedom of speech conference because without freedom of speech, peaceful men will have no choice but to resort to violence. And the First Amendment protects all speech, not just ideas that we like, but most particularly political speech, because who would decide what's good and what's forbidden? The Islamic State? The scene is open now. The road is uh, open. The roadblocks are down. It is clearing. Garland police have also cleared up one mystery from last night. They did take a third man into custody as a possible suspect, but after interviewing him, Heather, they determined he had nothing to do with it and they let him go. All right, Richard Ray, live tonight in Garland. Thank you for your coverage. This is part of the story, Rich. Thanks.